Hello Lilas. So I am here with baby Nigel and I'm going to get him changed I think. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to how it's going to work out because I am like so indecisive. I'm like the most indecisive person in the world. I can't decide. I was thinking about putting him on this shirt that Auntie uh, Cree sent Kaysen's mom. Him, Kaysen, and Nigel. Noah actually have the same shirts so this is Noah's shirt that he's wore and so I was thinking about should I match them up today but I think I'm gonna wait I think I'm gonna wait actually next week so Kaysen can wear his again and they can all match and so I don't know if I should put him on this or this I want him covered up because we are traveling and so when I take my babies out, I like to um, have them covered up. So, you know, because if you show your baby, people want to touch them and stuff like that. And if they are fully covered up, it is pretty nice to not have to worry about their oils or perfumes or scents getting on your actual baby. Um, so... I took um, Nigel out yesterday actually and he got a lot of attention to the point of people really did not know that he was not a real baby. But the one thing I always do, you know, if you get a positive reaction, you feel kind of pumped and hyped up and it's kind of like you feel really good about it and all of a sudden you, you know, you have this huge amount of courage. And so I did, I got a positive reaction and then I was like, okay, well, I'll show them to somebody else and then I'll show them to somebody else and then I'll show them to somebody else. But then I start to feel afterwards, it was like, um, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have done that. You know what I mean? Cause then people start to, they come back, they think about it and then they start asking you questions about it. And then, you know, it's kind of like, do they really get it or they're going to judge you and you know think that you're a little crazy or whatever i mean we're all a little crazy okay but <laughs> um you know what i mean so and i usually don't like to mix two two different worlds the doll world with my real world because i don't know i just like to keep my hobby to myself because you know i feel like people that are not doll collectors don't totally get it and I don't know it just I just don't like to mix the two usually but I did a little bit yesterday a lot and um, that was huge for me but I do I do um I I did start to feel a little nervous afterwards and I was kind of like um was that a good idea so a lot of people ask like are you ashamed of your hobby it's not that you're ashamed of it it's just to keep it pure to keep it to where you don't have to even think about second guessing yourself it's nice to not you know open up that dialogue like I don't want people to start like saying oh are you collecting because of this or is this wrong with you or what's wrong why are you collecting that type thing um especially with your co-workers and stuff like that and then people start also another thing that I don't the reason why I don't do it too is people start adding up like <laughs> your collection or you want to know how much and then people start to assume that you have more money than you actually do or they think you're crazy because you're spending all this money on dolls it's so much judgment that comes along with this hobby till you know you know it's judgment inside the hobby is judgment outside the hobby it's just one of those things so you know i had to tell myself like girl bye don't even worry about it you know it's over done you did it so what um it is what it is you're a doll collector your doll 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 artist and it is what it is so um 
I remember I used to follow these one particular channel or these people and they used to always take their dolls out but they were artists and when they would take their dolls out you know it was so easy for them because they would say I make them and people don't judge them as don't judge you as harshly if they think you are actually just you don't collect them you're just an artist and I always thought it was really cool and I always said man you know that's pretty nice you know because they don't have to worry about people thinking, you know, calling them crazy and everything. So it was a little bit less judgment. But even now that I paint dolls and stuff like that, I still don't feel totally 100% comfortable with the whole questionnaire thing when you take your babies out. I'll be honest. That's my true confession. I'm just not comfortable with it. Um, it's not that I'm ashamed. It's not that I feel guilty I just don't like to have to you know I you know as as an adult as a mother as you know whatever you know you have have to think about so many things and second guess yourself on so many things in life I mean your hobby is supposed to be your free space so I don't want to add that to it. I don't want to have to defend my hobby to anyone. So why even bother? You know, this is my hobby. Oh, I love when he looks at me. <laughs> this is my hobby. This is, you know, what I love. And I buy my dolls for me. I don't buy them to, to show them off to the world or anything like that. So it doesn't bother me not to ever. If I never took a doll out, I would be just perfectly okay it doesn't it's not a thing for me let me see what you guys can see but yeah so I don't know I just felt I felt good that he fooled a lot of people but I also um felt um afterwards I kind of start my mind started racing and I started questioning myself like you know was should I have done that you know type thing so yeah and then you know it's just so many so many things it's like people like oh my god you know this baby looks so real looks like like you know and I love when they they don't even refer to it as a doll you know that's when you they don't say that doll look real they don't say they say that baby, you know, because in their mind, that's all they see is baby. So it's it's pretty cool, but mm -mm. so you know when people be like, oh, are you ashamed of your hobby? Then you know, don't be ashamed and all that. It's almost like you know, you damned if you do and damned if you don't. You know, it's like if you don't want to take your babies out, it's like why not? You know, if you do want to take your babies out, it's like why take them out? type thing so I just choose not to I enjoy seeing other people do outings if I'm with a group of other doll collectors then yeah I you know it's fun because we're all out we're all laughing and you know having fun but I just don't like all the attention that it brings um otherwise so I mean I like it when it's positive I'll say that but you know it's just one of those things so um, he's so cute. <laughs> he has a little hat. He had on a hat yesterday. So, um, but yeah. So that's that. I don't know if you guys, you know, take your dolls out and stuff like that. I, I don't know. It's kind of like. I, I stopped telling people when I get a new baby, I don't want people counting how many dolls I got. I don't want people, like, you know, that's why some babies I prefer to keep private because, you know, it's like, I don't need everybody, like, trying to judge me on this or that or stuff like that. So, it is what it is. But, I just thought I would come on and share him. Like I said, a lot of times I just make excuses to record let me see 
if I could take you guys off of here so you guys can see what he looks like. <laughs> That's my little guy. <laughs> this, the lighting in here is pretty darn, um, it's kind of, it's a yellow light up at the top. So my white bulbs don't really help a whole lot. He does look like this skin tone in this room. But when you take him out into regular light, he's lighter. And oh my God, when I took him outside yesterday in natural light, he looked even more real to me. And I was just like, whoa. Even for myself, I was like, oh gosh. But, you know, the thing about that is that when you collect, you know, a lot of people don't like you know some a lot of artists don't feel comfortable when other artists collect their work or they you know they feel like people are going to try to copy their work and stuff like that um i think that real people that really likes to create and really loves art are not particularly fond of trying to copy somebody else's work or style because the whole fun part about you know painting and creating is the creating part so the copying part gives you no real full pleasure. So um, I don't want to, and I say this all the time in my videos now that I started painting, I don't want to copy Claire Teller's paint style, but I absolutely am inspired by it as well as, you know, a lot of other artists. Um, there are some artists out there that I would love to be able to collect their work. Um, Sometimes I can't get get to it because they're very popular and you know how that goes and um so it's, it's very hard to sometimes get it but there's a lot of artists out here that I admire as well but I I am definitely inspired by the babies that I bring home and you know able to look at cl up close and personal um it it does set the bar high for myself as well like I you know, I look at my dolls and then I look at my personal collection and I'm like, mm, yeah, you're not there yet, babe. <laughs> you know, or, okay, you're doing pretty good. You know, sometimes I get a doll, you know, I get some reborns or something like that from like higher end artists and I'm like, wow, I'm not that far off, you know. And then, you know, there's times when you get something you like, girl, bye. <laughs> you, you better keep painting. <laughs> So, you know, and it's good to be honest with yourself and not, you know, don't put yourself, you know, make yourself seem bigger than what you are. You know, I tell people all the time, I get I get a lot of messages and a lot of people are asking me to paint for them. And they're asking me to paint like the prototype for this. And I'm like, are you serious? Like, you think that I can just start painting and paint exactly like a master artist? Mm, yeah, that would be a no. Not saying that my work, not putting myself down, not saying that my work isn't good. Um, not saying that I, I, I feel like I'm doing really good for, you know, as the amount of time I've been painting. But, yeah, I'm not going to try to say I'm there, there yet. There's still a lot to be learned. So, anyway guys, thanks for watching and listening to me rant and ramble about nothing really but i just thought i'd come on and chat with you guys and play with him anytime i can play with him i just i don't know i went to do a video in the nursery and i was sitting there and i just end up just rocking him holding him and i was like you know what this is not working out <laughs> and so i was like okay i'm gonna do a video and i said you know what i'm just gonna go downstairs go to the guest bedroom um i kind of like being laid out here right now my changing table in the nursery is occupied i've cleared it off and it's like a workstation right now and then my desk is also another workstation so i have a silicone workstation and a reborn workstation so like oh my god like i totally don't have a changing table right now so i kind of like down here even though the lighting is not that great let me see if i open up the windows so, oh my God, like you guys can see more light or something like that. Um, <laughs> okay, so yeah, so um, I opened up the windows. I don't think it did that much help. 
Only thing it helped is letting the police officer look in my window, bedroom window. That's why I don't like to, I don't know, like it's like a window, my neighbor window is kind of facing this window, so I don't really like it, like to open it, especially when I'm in my PJs. But anyway, um, but yeah, so, I don't know, maybe we'll go into one of the other bedrooms and then maybe the lighting will be lighter there. But it is kind of early and it's gloomy and the sun is not out. Anyway, enough of all that. Thanks guys again for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up on your way out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. Later.